Good morning. I am super excited today. It is beautiful out and I am on my way up to McAfee Knob, which I've been pronouncing McAfee Knob for I don't know how long, um, but I was corrected today by the people of Virginia. Anyways, I'm super excited. I have been dreaming about my handstand picture on McAfee Knob since I first learned of the AT. So we will see you up there. There's dragon's tooth from yesterday. All right, so this is the trail, and this is a big um, obstruction. <laughs> and this may not look that steep, but it's really steep actually. So let's see if we can get around. All filming. You're going up. Oh god. Oop! Oh, and I'm on my ass. Okay. Yeah, this is a bad idea. Oh god. Oh. Oh. oh my god. I'm stuck in a hole. Ah. Got it. I beat you. I'm almost there. I'm so excited. All right, so I got my handstand photo on McAfee knob. I'm super excited. Now it's time to move on. He's running away, come back. He scared the crap out of me. Don't go. Oh, oh. Hi. He's so cute. <laughs> He's not happy right now. from Tinker Cliffs right now and I downloaded the Peak Finder app so I could double check. So that is McAfee Knob and we walk this whole ridge line all the way to here. I think I found my camp spot for the night. I'm right next to a stream. Time to get set up. So I had to make a mod to my bear bag hang tonight. It took me like 25 times to get the rock bag thrown over the branch, but I finally got it. And then when I went to hang the bear bag, the line actually slid closer to the tree so I hung it the PCT method but it was like right next to the tree trunk so I wasn't even gonna fuck with throwing the rock bag again at that point so I just took the extra line that was hanging down and tied it off to another smaller tree nearby so that it just pulled the bag away from the tree a little bit so hopefully that works for the night so it was an awesome day today. I did 16.8 miles. It's been just an awesome couple of days really with um, Dragon's Tooth and McAfee Knob and then Tinker Cliffs. So I am heading into Daleville tomorrow to do a resupply and stay over there. I'm pretty happy with the way things are going right now. I'm averaging, I just 
did my average, which is 11.5 miles per day since the start. Um, it's been much higher the last couple of weeks, but 11.5 is pretty good. I'm doing much bigger days than that, but it just, when you take a zero day or a zero day, it brings down the average. So 11.5 is pretty good. I'm definitely on track to make it to Katahdin. I am pretty much done my nightly chores. It's about eight o'clock, so I'm gonna get in my tent, work on my videos, and head to bed. See you tomorrow. All right, I am hiking into Daleville this morning. I got about like nine or 10 miles, I think. Feeling good, the weather is just so comfortable for hiking. My backpack is light, that's one of the best things about coming into town is my backpack is small and I have almost no food left, which is the majority of the weight. So usually I'm like 25 to 30 pounds fully packed. I'm probably down to like maybe 20 pounds right now. So, got a couple of viewpoints today. I think looks a little overcast, but hopefully we'll see some sights before we head into town. There's this huge rock wall that I'd love to climb, but I got shit to do today. Okay, I'm definitely climbing up there somehow. All right, here's my view from I'm on top of Hay Rock. $50 room. Thank you, Howard Johnson. What's up, guys? <clears throat> if you can't tell by my voice, it is past my bedtime. It's like 10 o'clock. Um, I'm here at the Howard Johnson in Daleville, Virginia. It's been a good day. After I dropped my stuff in the room, I went out and grabbed lunch at Three Little Pigs. So I had some fresh vegetables for once with hummus, and then I had a really good sandwich, and then they do a free... Uh, like banana pudding dessert for hikers. So that was awesome. From there, I went to the outfitter in town and got new shoes. My shoes that I got in Franklin are just, have way too many miles on them. I have holes in them. So I got set up with some new ones. They're not the same pair. I did like the pair that I had, but, um, they didn't have them. So I went with these Solomons. I'm excited about that. They're more my style and my color. After that, I did my resupply, which I didn't really film because I think you're probably sick of seeing grocery store shenanigans because you all go to the grocery store and that's just exciting for us through hikers. After that, I actually sat by the pool that we have here at Howard Johnson and did some planning on the next few days, what's coming up and then got in the pool for a little bit. Did some laundry, organized my food, and then went to dinner to yet another Mexican restaurant because that's all they have along the trail pretty much. So anyways, now I'm back here, gonna get to bed and start hiking first thing in the morning. See you then. All right, so I've been hiking for five whole minutes and already got my shoes dirty. But I'm super excited about them. They feel really comfortable right now. But like I said, I've only been hiking for five minutes, so I guess we shall see.
All right, it's about 5.30. Here is my camp set up for the night. Put in about 18.5 miles today. And the new shoes have been working out great so far, but it's only day one. This is the stream where I'm camping tonight, or lack thereof, I guess I should say. So I had to kind of rig up a little leaf with some rocks so that it would flow through that and into my bladder. And I have strategically placed rocks on top of the bladder to hold it all in place. And it's taken about a half an hour to almost fill up all the way. I don't even know if it's still going in there at this point or just dumping back out. So I just tried to do a time-lapse video of me trying to throw the rock bag over the tree because usually it's really funny and it takes me like 35 tries and I start stomping around and swearing. Um, but I got it on my first try, bitches. All right, guys. So I'm going to try to build my very first fire tonight. I got all my stuff set up. I don't have a lot of big stuff because I don't feel confident that it's gonna work. And if it doesn't, you can't make fun of me. Actually, I probably won't post this if it doesn't work. But I'm gonna try, let's see. It's working! My first fire! All right, I'm not positive how much bigger I need to make this before I can trust that it's gonna stay, but I'm gonna try to use my bot. I feel like a motherfucking rock star. And this is why I don't have a stove. How the fuck do you clean this thing? All right, awesome day today. I'm so glad that the weather has finally taken a turn for the better. And good night, you know, with my first fire and my mac and cheese. I ate the lightest thing in my pack first, which is really a dumb thing to do, but it was good. And I'm heading to bed. See you tomorrow.